So question 7 from the 2014 National 5 physics paper is one of these open-ended questions. It's worth three marks. Uh, it starts with the phrase, using your knowledge of physics. And um, there is no set marking scheme for this type of question. All it does say in the marking scheme is that three marks is a good understanding, two marks is reasonable, one mark is a limited understanding. Um, and if you don't demonstrate any understanding whatsoever, you don't get any marks. So let's have a look at the question and I'll just maybe suggest some possible answers that you might give to this question. Um, the fire engine on its way to an emergency is traveling along a main street. The siren on the fire engine is sounding. A uh, student standing on a nearby street cannot see the fire engine, but can hear the siren. So, here is the question. Use your knowledge of physics to comment on why the student can hear the siren even though the fire engine is not in view. So this is about being able to hear sounds but not being able to see sounds or see, see sounds, um, see objects around corners. Um, and so we need to talk, I suppose, about light and we need to talk about um, sound. So first of all, about light. The key thing I think that you must get across when you're answering this question is that light travels in straight lines. So if there's light um, reflecting off the sun onto this fire engine, then that light is going to reflect in all directions, but it's only going to reflect off in straight lines. So it might travel there, or there, or there. That's not a straight line. Nope. Uh, let's see if we can get some um, straight lines here. So it might go there, or there, uh, or anywhere along here, in these directions as well, but it cannot travel around the corner. Um, it can hit that wall, and if maybe there was a mirror there, it could reflect off the mirror, and the student may see it in the mirror. But all of these arrow, these lines represent the direction that light can travel, um, which is only in a straight line. So I think the first thing that you should write is that light can only travel in a straight line and it cannot bend around corners. And so in that case, the student is not able to see the fire engine because the light isn't able to bend around the corner. And that's simply really all you must say um, for, for that part of the question. Now we can talk about the sound. Um, sound waves also travel effectively in straight lines and they also travel in all directions and sometimes we represent, represent sound waves like this little uh, curved wave fronts. Um, but the key thing about sound waves is although they do travel in straight lines they travel through materials. So first of all you could say that the sound travels through the building uh, and then whenever it gets out the other side of the building it will be transmitted through the air again and so the student could hear the sound traveling through the building. And incidentally, maybe you could say that sound travels even faster through solid things like concrete or, or brick, like a building. Um, you may want to say that the sound is absorbed by the building as well. Um, and sound certainly is dampened by um, materials, but it does travel through materials as well. So uh, although light doesn't travel through materials, sound does. The second thing to say is that sound also bounces or reflects off um, materials and certainly off very hard surfaces. So if you had lots of walls here, the sound might be coming off this uh, fire engine, it might bounce off this uh, wall over here and then reflect in this direction toward the student. And so the student would be able to hear the sound because the sound not only travels through materials but it also reflects off materials. And it's more likely in this case that the sound that the student hears is because the sound has reflected off the hard walls uh, of the surrounding buildings. So I think that's really all I would add um, and that would show a good understanding of both sound, the fact that sound can travel through things and it can also reflect off um, materials whereas light cannot travel um, around corners, it can only travel in straight lines. So hopefully that helps to allow you to answer the question.